Hello, Copilot Studio community, and welcome to our exciting monthly update show, where we will bring you all the latest buzz, activity, and incredible updates straight from the heart of the Copilot Studio product team. I'm Kendra Springer, and I have the most amazing co-host, Donna Sarkar. Hey, Donna. First of all, lies, because I have the most amazing co-host, <laughs> Kendra Springer from the Copilot Thank Studio Thank product you. team. I'm so excited to join you today and dive into this amazing progress and achievements your team have been driving. And your team has been hustling, doing stuff, <laughs> doing stuff. Yes. And today you're here to share some of it with our amazing audience. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. The hustle is real. Mm -hmm. Today's show is going to be packed with insights, highlights, and sneak peeks into what's coming next. We've seen so much innovation and creativity this month, and I can't wait to share with you. And, and mm -hmm. you, Donna, great. Mm -hmm. I mean, some of it, yeah, kind of new. Some of it's new for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's grab your favorite beverage, get comfy, and let's celebrate the hard work. Do you have beverages? Uh, I was supposed to be in charge of beverages. I have failed at that. I did not understand the assignment, <laughs> which we will solve for next month. I noted. Okay. Sure. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> so let's kick things off with a look at the latest incredibly exciting announcement from Satya and Jared just yesterday. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so that was that was major. If you didn't watch that, ready? New inline agent builder for Microsoft 365 Copilot powered by Copilot Studio. Yes. A mouthful, but very, very interesting. Okay, so can you recap for everyone this new amazing capability in Microsoft 365 Copilot and what does it mean for our communities? Absolutely, Donna. This has been a truly remarkable effort across the organizations at Microsoft and we are so excited to now get it in your hands. Mm -hmm. We have seen how Microsoft 365 Copilot has revolutionized your business processes. Mm -hmm. However, in order to unlock the full potential, mm -hmm. you'll need to teach Copilot about your business. Ground in data. Yep, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so now to do this, you can build agents which enable you to give Copilot access to your organization's knowledge and go further by giving it the ability to execute various automation or workflows mm -hmm. that your company executes every single day. So with this new embedded agent builder, we've made it easier than ever for you to do that and customize Copilot to meet your unique needs. Okay. Do you want to see a demo? I want to see a demo. Okay, mm -hmm. absolutely. Let's take you through it. So right here in M365 Copilot, I'm able to create an agent and describe what I'd like it to do. So scenarios I wanted to support, how I'd like it to respond, et cetera. So let's say you're a field service engineer and you want a way to resolve customer problems quickly while you're on site. So I can continue to configure this agent and add you know, my own corporate branding. And after I describe all this information and go ahead and brand it, I'm able to click create and it's gonna show up immediately in the right hand rail of M365 Copilot. So I'll go ahead and start chatting with it. And you can see when I ask the question about what a particular error code is, I'm able to see it uses the SharePoint I gave it as knowledge to look up the error code and quickly provide guidance on how to fix the issue. Okay, so what I love about this is this is an issue every business on the planet has. Absolutely. Every business, any good business, You've got field service, customer service people, yep. right, to actually go and handle issues for customers in real time. Yep. I have a three-person business, and I have to do this. <laughs> I am customer service agent. <laughs> Everyone in my company is. But to be able to go and get information like, hey, how much does shipping cost to blah, and can we get that expedited, yep. and being able to solve it in real time with the customer, yep. that's pretty magical. Yep. Versus being like, I'll get back to you, or you know, that old thing of like, hmm, let me talk to my manager. No, we can actually do a better job as business owners yeah. and business runners in Absolutely. the world. Absolutely, yeah. And so, you don't have to memorize, you know, like no. 300 manuals no. and thousands of pages no. of, you know, case document history Absolutely and all of no. that, right? Copilot no. does it for you. Copilot does it for you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to ask the question that all of you are thinking. You're welcome. Is this going to be available soonish yes. in public preview to the people? Yes. Great question. Mm -hmm. So, yes, absolutely. We announced it yesterday mm -hmm. and before the end of the month, you will be able to get your hands on it and mm -hmm. start chatting with it in public preview or start trying it out to build agents to start chatting with in public preview. Okay, so I love this new functionality. I think this is amazing and everyone's gonna be very excited about it. But let's not undermine all of the work that the team has been doing mm. because there's a lot of work that seems invisible, okay? There's of course the shiny new features and functionality, but the deep focus on quality, that's not, it's not unnoticed. Okay, just this, this month, the last month or so, 
when I've been doing demos for customers and building my own um, things in Copilot Studio, I've been noticing that the latency and performance mm. have just become like higher performance, lower latency, more responsiveness from all of the various agents. It's significantly different. Yes, absolutely. So yep. thank you to the team who does this work. It is noticed and we really appreciate it. Okay, so the other thing that I realized recently was the team has really heard your feedback and they understand that three megs per file, way too small. Way too small. That's not even a PowerPoint. Teeny tiny. Right, it's not yeah. even a PowerPoint. We can't even index a PowerPoint, no good. So they've increased the size mm -hmm. to 512 megs per file, which is huge. Mm -hmm. And now you can actually have like proper PowerPoint, those ginormous Excel spreadsheets that are frightening to all of us with the pivot tables and all mm -hmm. of that stuff. So thank you team. And by the way, everyone go try it out. All of you who have it in your mind, the three megs is all you get. Nope, nope, nope. I don't know how you got all that storage when you bribed. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. I did, mm -hmm. I did bribe it. No, mm -hmm. no, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's it's the amazing team mm -hmm. um, that supports this product. And you know, you did mention an Excel mm -hmm. spreadsheet. And previously, mm -hmm. right, uh, Copilot Studio wouldn't have been able to use that as a grounded right. knowledge right. source because. Uh, it would only index the text components of your files. And actually coming soon, uh, in September, you will also now be able to upload files with things like graphs, mm -hmm. charts, or visually rich like images, right? Mm -hmm. um, and Copilot can actually uh, parse through the visually rich information within the files as well to generate answers on. So we're super excited about that, and that's gonna be a, you know, a big improvement for for the knowledge capability within Copilot Studio. Uh, community, are you hearing this? You know that big issue we had where Copilot Studio cannot parse my earnings report with mm. all the charts and graphs in it and give me insights? It yep. can now do that. It can now do Your that. Your CFO, real happy right now. Really, really happy. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Our CFO, yes. extra happy. So, <laughs> but this, this is not it. This is a preview, preview for the Power Platform Community Conference. There's a ton more you're announcing. Yes, yes mm -hmm. absolutely. Don't spoil it. Should okay? I tell you all? No, I won't. I won't. You got to come to the conference. To come yes, on. yes. Mm -hmm. Well, in all seriousness, mm -hmm. I, I do wish I could say more mm -hmm. right now. But we will be sharing a ton of goodness and, and additional announcements at this year's Power Platform Community Conference. Mm -hmm. And I'd hate to spoil the sessions mm -hmm. there for the folks that are going mm -hmm. to be joining us in Vegas. So mm -hmm. I couldn't be more thrilled about this conference. I think it's my favorite one that we do at Microsoft. The, the community is amazing and the time that we get to spend just hanging out with them, learning mm -hmm. from them, hearing how they're using our products mm -hmm. to build these amazing solutions, is it's truly inspiring, right? Mm -hmm. and, and it gives us such an opportunity to learn from you all about how we can continue to make our product better. So, That's right. Yeah, I'm stoked. I think it's gonna be great. So much of the product team is turning up, and I mean turning up, mm -hmm. because they're here to talk to you directly. They're not there to teach, they're there to learn. Because 99.9% .9 of the work that I've seen coming out of your team was feedback from the conference yeah. last year. So yeah. this conference is legitly their entire work item list for the year. But you know what also <laughs> is really interesting, not to be annoying. Okay, you're good. Power Platform Conference is not only about Power Platform. It's about all the things that surround Power Platform, like yeah. Office slash M365, Absolutely. Azure Visual Studio, and you know, biased, generative AI, there's quite a bit of generative AI just woven in through all of the elements, like Power Automate, Naps, and all of this stuff. Yeah. So I'm yeah. so excited about this conference. Yeah, there's 10 different sessions ranging from Copilot Studio 101 to the architectural deep dives to advanced authoring, which allows you to learn more about harnessing the power of generative AI, where we'll explore the future of Copilot building and a future powered by AI, which is brimming with innovation and rich with possibilities. So I love it. It's going to be great. And by the way, there's fun things too. There's a keynote speaker who I think everyone will be interested in. And of course, Kendra's not secret crush, Trevor Noah. <laughs> Hi, Trevor. And of course, the band that we all listened to back in our day, Death Cab for Cutie. What kind of conference is this? Why is this fun? I don't, I don't know. understand. I'm excited. I'm yeah. going to wear my, I have like a signed mm -hmm. t-shirt from yeah. a concert when I was, you know, what, 12, I think? 13? I so last year. I'm, a I'm aging myself. <laughs> okay, so by the way, we're of course out of time because when Kendra and I get together, we will talk for hours. But this has been amazing. We're so excited we get to do this every month. Next time, what are we going to talk about? So I can't wait for next time because we're actually going to be able to do a wrap up from the Power Platform Conference and give a deep overview into all of the exciting announcements and look at some sneak peeks going into Ignite. Yeah. I Don't miss it. next month. It's going to be good. Don't miss next month. It's going to be good. If you think Power Platform Conf has news, Ignite has more news. Oof, so much news. Jam okay. Packed. 
Everyone, thank you so much for joining us. We will see you next month to share what's new in Copot Studio. Bye.